John Vickers is considered one of the greatest opera singers of the 20th century. It's that powerful voice with so much emotion. Here he is. Mary Morrison first sang with him in 1947 in Winnipeg. She was studying at Toronto's Conservatory of Music. Vickers was selling tools at the Bay. I was so knocked out with his voice. I said, will you make a recording and I'll bring it down to Toronto. And he was given a scholarship, full ride at the conservatory. And from then on, well, he never looked back. Vickers was born in Prince Albert, Saskatchewan, but the greatest stages in the world became his home. He fine-tuned his characters by putting on his own makeup. I feel that my performance begins the moment I sit down in front of this makeup table. He brought an intensity to every role. No, when I fall. Retired Canadian tenor Ben Hepner heard of one legendary performance after Vickers argued with the director. And at the end, Vickers basically held the cost, held the curtain back demanding applause. I mean, it was an incredible moment. He was also deeply religious, gaining him the nickname God's Tenor. Teresa Stratus performed with him. He was the greatest artist I had ever worked with, and he was probably the greatest artist I've ever heard or seen on the stage. He had a long struggle with Alzheimer's disease. I sang Im wunderschönen Yet three years ago, the music was still with him when Mary Morrison went to visit. He remembered all the words and he sang. It was just an incredible experience. John Vickers, who once told a group of students, I sang because I had to. Lorenda Radakop, CBC News, Toronto.